Hello, everybody. I'm Hunter, the one who calls the Nine Guns. Welcome back for more. Let's play Super Paper Mario! In the last part, we began the old ruins, and in this part, we're gonna be exploring what is beyond this pipe. Oh, I wonder what is beyond this pipe! I wonder what is beyond this pipe. Um. Uh oh. That's not good. Well, let's see. We're gonna walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. Warning! Oh, uh, what was that? What is. What was that? What is. What was that? What. The. Hell? Those are some pretty fake. Oh my god, giant robot dragon from hell! Please don't eat me, Mr. Giant Dragon from hell! Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Weight, scan initialized, red cap detected, blue overalls detected, level 5 mustache detected, incredible, possible subject identification, but it is impossible, hold your position, searching data banks. I love this. We shop menu screen! <laughs> ah, I love that. Search complete, one positive match. System overload, legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fractale. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. <laughs> it won't be that easy. Oh no. Wait a minute. Who speaks? Wait. Oh fucking hell, Dementio! Why? So very nice to meet you, and your mustache. I am Camplex, master of dimensions, the pleaser of crowds. I am... Dementio. Remember the name well. Uh, okay. I know you. You're that... It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with... Magic. What? What is the... Yes, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time. We need snacks on you. For you are the snack. Ciao. So you just left me with a broken robot. What did he just... Beep. I am error. Press any key to restart. System not found, insult, insert, this list is not found, please confirm this call, this calls, read error, insert, boosters, and press enter, no responsive, then maybe busy or melting in this like, application errors have you working with, you lost everything, with a guard genius, waiting for processors, 401, three reader house is not found, that level upgraded to jelly level 1, detonation in a minute. Oh, well, I think the mention just broke him. Well, that's not good. <laughs> C1 query identification, C1 until January, C results go away, yet little control out delete. Well then, it looks like our guardian of the pure heart has just turned into our first major boss. Isn't that pleasant? So this is Fractale, a very strange looking boss. Uh, I have to wait until I can get a scan on him. For... Actually, can I do it now? Alright. That's Fractal, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. It is quite enormous. Maximum HP is unknown. Attack is one. It can fly and swoop down with, the with its big open mouth. But I think the antenna, like horn a of its head, is its weak spot. I think you're going to need to use throw to hit it. Alright, now, as large and tough looking as it may be, Fractal, like all of the first bosses of any game, is the easiest. Because you're actually able to stay on Fractal if you time yourself right. Though, knowing me and having to deal with this capture card by watching it through my computer screen, that is very much doubtful. Because of the lag. Oh! I almost got my head cut off there. That was dangerous. And so he disappears off screen. And we gotta wait for Tippy to say, It's going to fly in from the right! I got sense it! You should flip back into 3D! And when she, she says that, flip into 3D, and here's Frackdale! So let's jump on him. Whee! And pan of leg up to his head. Now what you ought to do, wait for these little guys, these duck roller dudes, to appear, and then grab 
one of them and throw it at the antenna on his head. Actually, okay. So now we're going to have to do the challenging part, and the part we're going to need to do in order to stay on him. Let's pretend this right. And... Jump! And we did it. Okay. Yeah, so you can stay on infinitely if you jump at the right time there. Most people don't know that. Uh, maybe they do. I don't know. Alright, so... Let's see. I think we hit him three times. Alright, so now he's going to do it again, so let's see if we can time it right. Alright, come on. Time it. Alright, his tail's getting shorter. Do a running jump. And jump! Ah, oh, man, we missed. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to stay on for a second time. I guess not. But to save you the time and not have to watch this all again, Telepaw! Alright, and we're back on his back again. That oh, was like, like 40 seconds. Not a lot of time cut out. But, anyways, a couple more hits on him and he should be dead. Let's see, one. There we go! System crash! Uh, I have my function. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Same circuit smoldering. Please, you must save our world. And after possibly the one of the most gruesome deaths I've ever seen. Yeah, it's not that bloody, but it's pretty dark. <laughs> Seriously, that's a pretty dark death. Alright, I don't know where the hell his head went, though. Seemed just to ignore everything. Well, let's go for the door. We defeated Fractal. Oh, that's left into the trippy Angelic Zone place. Okay, then. This is weird and kind of creepy. Welcome, hero. My name is Malumina. What? Huh? Where did that come from? Ah, ghost! Fuck! I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for fifteen hundred years. That's a pretty long late wait, lady. Are you sure you were able to survive that long? Jesus. And my country card is flicking out. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Pretty much. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listening well, hero. Okay, I'll listen. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization, hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Dun <laughs> no one knows who authored the book of darkness. It foretold events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. Surface. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds defies the grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work, and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men, and you see my life set sail toward a male storm of love. You see, I asked one out, but however, it was well, you know. Basically, it, and then I said, and he said, and then. And that is why we hope the Purity Heart will have the power to defeat chaos. To save our worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that form the Purity Heart. And that is all I have to say on that matter. Were you listening carefully? I, uh, I'm sorry, I, I fell asleep there. Excellent, I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you, were, if you would fully understand. The short version? Wow, I'm scared to know what the long version is like. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our oh, last and only hope. Go forth here and save the worlds. We are depending all on you. And here we get our second pure heart. And with that, we have a dance. Look at the pixels having a dance. You got a pure heart, baby. Yeah. Right. End of chapter. Before disappearing, Malamina had entrusted Mario to save every world. 
She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. Alright, so next time on the 3 Super Paper Mario, we're going to return to Flipside to see what is up in the his house. So until then, see you later, and goodbye. I am a robot. Hear me roar.